Welcome back to the Billabong Pro Tahiti. We're down here on the southern tip of Tahiti Edi at a place called Tiopu for round one. And we have Heatan hitting the lineup. Adrian Bucken, a former winner here, up against Joel Parkinson, who has made the final at this event, and Aleja Munez. Thought you were breaking down my style then. <laughs> well, here we go. Adrian Bucken trying to get things started early. That way he's going to shut down though. But uh, that will be a score on the board, so we won't have a second restart. It's like the wave itself is almost like the main character every time, you know, the surfers paddle out. Big heat score total for Ace Bucken in the final over Kelly Slater, 18.94. Adrian Bucken puts the motors on to get into this one. Nice little wedge. He'll find the exit. Try and put some extras on the board with a nice little rebound. And he kicks out. If you just wait too long, because it is pretty slow today, and uh, perfect call there from you, Ronnie. That was a cool-looking wedge. That thing almost had a right on it. Uh, it really chipped out and hit that west bowl. Uh, not a giant, big, roomy barrel, but still, for, for just a sneaky insider, that's going to be worth Ace's time, um, especially when you know this heat feels like it's going to be a low-scoring affair. Not a bad wrap, too, to boot. There's that weird little wedge, fun barrel, but this cutback is nice, about, all about that rebound. Tags it right there. Um, I don't think the, the judges are going to go too crazy with the score, but you know, good surfing from Ace. Ace doing a, uh, a frontside version there, and during the replay, Joel Parkinson tucked into this one. And there you go, that's what Joel wanted. You can see that wave had some girth. It was square, it was boxy. And uh, that was what he's looking for. It's just a short barrel, so it's going to definitely keep the score low. Uh, you know, maybe just in that mid-range. Um, but And here it is again for you. Okay, so nice barrel. That's where the bulk of the points came from. Here he's got a nice shoulder to work with. And there's the drawn out. See his legs kind of extended. Just a nice cruisy little cutback. You know, it's not the best cutback we've ever seen from Joel, but uh, you know, it's an example of how stylish this cat is. Uh, as he took on CJ in the final. But here we go, some movement here from Alejo Munez. And it's, uh, it's not going to factor into the heat for Alejo. It'll be another throwaway score. For something like this right here. I mean, watch Ace getting the beautiful tube ride that this place has to offer. Beautiful ride, comes out big, cut back right in the face. Beautiful turn right there. Another one on the closeout. Wow, Ace wants to win, that's for sure. Are that confident in their craft that they can sit that close without um, having to, to worry about you know their, them going over the falls or, or being sucked back into the reef and you know they, they have lost the boat here before and it's it's you know one of those things that can happen but it's pretty interesting to watch the way these guys maneuver through the channel to have these guys sitting here on the boats to shoot the action and have these guys come flying out of the barrel so close to everything that's happening it's, it's so impressive to watch that's the luxury of uh, you know kind of being semi-retired you can mess around a bit well, here goes Alejo with just on a minute and 40 seconds. Drives up into the lip. One of the better turns we've seen in the first round. But without the combination of the tube ride, you just get the feeling that that is going to fall pretty short. He's nice and deep. Ten seconds to go, and he's going to get into it. He's stalling for the barrel here, but it's not on offer just yet. And he finds it now, but this wave pinches in a big way. And Joel's not going to find his way through this one. All right, well, a little victory lap here for Ace, and uh, very strong, got in good rhythm. Oh. Wow, beautiful hack from Ace. It's a nice way to move on to round three. 